What's up, guys? Nick here. Welcome back to this week's episode of Horizon Forbidden West. Sorry about last week, but I have a video of uh, my, my headset. Or not to say my headset broke, but the port my headset broke. So. Either way, you tell everyone came in. Shop's closed, Red. Welcome to use the workbench. Best I can do. <laughs> Still here, I see. If Chain Scrape is on Karja land, shouldn't a Karja be in charge? Who appointed you? The sensibilities of good Osram folk, of course. You think a Karja can head this whole venture? Ha! Ah, the Magistrate can barely make the trek from Baron Light without losing a few screws. So you have no real authority, then? People only follow you because you say so. Loudly. Anyone who has followers has authority. I've been with Chainscrape from the beginning. I mean, I'm practically its founder, and its honest folk know I'm indispensable to its success. I doubt it. You said you founded Chainscrape. Somehow I doubt that. Practically founded, I said. I alone saw its potential when it was just a smattering of tents in Baron Light's shadow. I invested in the mine, convinced some friends back home to do the same, and here we are. <laughs> You could say Chain Scrape is what it is, thanks to me. Oh, so you're not just standing around and profiting off everyone else? Not at all. Sure, I make a little return on my investment here and there, but my main priority, as it was from the beginning, is to look after the well-being of these honest, working Osram. Yeah, talk about blowing smoke up someone's ass. I cleared out all the bristlebacks. Oh, you did? Now that you've recovered from your shock, time to blow the whistle. Oh there, not so fast. I'll have to send someone out to confirm the kills. Make sure the valley is safe again. It shouldn't take more than a day or two. <sighs> no, you blow the whistle now. These are innocent Osram lives we're talking about here. Surely the delay- Either you do it now or I will. Ah, I knew you could do it! Friends, gather around. The savior of Meridian has done now it again. What? The bristlebacks are defeated! Uh, you. What? Sound the whistle. Chain scrape is open for business! Terrific. Yay. And Olvind has agreed to personally pay every worker their lost wages. Yeah! That's where I like it! Yeah! Ha-ha! Yeah! Yeah! Don't you have an embassy to get to? Yeah. I guess I do. <laughs> We're just out of it. There's new equipment, restock your resources, and sell unneeded items. <laughs> items, available, sell category. Or if they sell, there are many types of parts and stickers. Got new outfits, Sorry. hunters, powerful new weapons, herbless, sell valuable potions, cook sell, skill boosting food for merchants of their own unique stock. Right. So the chain scrapes back to work. Merchants should be open to trade. Brought out only the good stuff for you, Red. See it as you got that whistle blowing. Hey, I've been waiting to get my lucky hammer fixed for days. 
You haven't done anything useful like getting rid of any bristlebacks, though, have you? Take your time. I promise you won't be disappointed. <laughs> uh, warrior bow. Fire hunter and a hunter. Come back anytime. Red hair's unmistakable. She's the one that gave those bristle backs a run for their here. But did I waste very few scrap on a green bow? Outfits, oh, armor. Here it is. Kadra, then the Ostrom Explorer. Right now it's lightning and poison. Plus one concentration. Regen and potion. Silent strike heal and low potion. Remedies and brews to make life. One potion and small health potion. I already have it. Hundred shards to buy them. Horned lizard, goose feathered, horned lizard, rabbit, rabbit, fairy vulture, fox bone, fox hide, rabbit. Leader job. Fox bone. Boom. Rope out. Pulse 
your result deal more damage. Stamina. Stamina, what stamina? I still don't know what the hell this thing is highlighting. Ah, uh, valuable cell. Valor Surge. Valor Surge is extremely powerful rare abilities that instantly turn the tide of a fight. Build up your Valor Surge bar and unleash it and unleash its powerful ultimate power. Earn Valor through tactical gameplay and when a segment of your Valor is full, activate the Valor Surge by opening the weapon wheel and then tap the on the wall. I got everything to level two. Got everything to level here. Good upgrades. Might as well upgrade the outfit I can the trap.
Money back there, thanks, sir. How goes it, Hammerhead? The way to Baron Light is clear. Get moving. You're not Aaron Vanguardsman. I will move only when the captain when said... When I cleared out all the bristlebacks, which I have. Captain's orders. So they're okay? Banged up, but breathing. And waiting up ahead for you. But... but I, I was supposed to have three escorts. I'm off to Baron Lightbodies. Like Aloy said, captain's orders. You can stay here. Abandoned to the riffraff? I think not. Guess you're coming with me then. See you there, Aloy. <laughs> ah, the hide voicey guys. Well, now that that's done. The embassy can finally get underway. If I can get through it, I'll be able to track down silence. Maybe. Override a charge of ground fire. Oh, okay. Morning, Mike. <sighs> Maybe even a guy a backup. Guess I could head straight for Baron Light. Or poke around the dance some more first. I'll be right with you. Uh, okay, I'm not saying it's a bad idea. I'm saying it's overkill. It's a weapon. Kill is the point. Not if it blows the user's arm off. Oh, just, just, just stop talking. <sighs> Where are we? Ah. <clears throat> so, uh, you, you look like someone who's always searching for a new weapon. Am I right? Actually, I... Oh. But you're just not. I am with a customer. I... I'm not a customer. I got it! Triple the powder. It'll blow a strider sky high. Ba-boom. One shot kill. Guaranteed. Uh... Maybe I am. Then you are in the right place at the right time, Red. How would you like to be the proud owner of the world's first machine-enhanced... Explosive, done-in-one, machine-wrecking, yet perfectly safe, javelin thrower. Are you two from around here? Nah, the claim. Dad sent us out west in search of some unknown opportunity. Said we'll know it when we see it. <coughs> Sounds like you had other ideas. Let's just say that opening another trading post for my parents isn't how I want to make my mark in this world. <laughs> I imagine traveling alone must be nice. Not all the time. 
So she's your partner? My apprentice and my sister. She's why we're out here. There was an incident, another incident. Involving explosives? Ba boom! And Dad's precious homebrew. He shipped us out the next day. Huh. Tell me more about this weapon of yours. I saw a scroll when I was a kid by some Karja scholar who wandered out west. I had a scary drawing of a Tanakh warrior hunting with a kind of javelin thrower. Effective? Yes. Basic? Undoubtedly. But coming out here made me remember it. And I am on the brink of vastly improving the tool's archaic design. Whereas I will perfect it. I can use machine parts to enhance the user's throw, increase the projectile's velocity. A boomer here is adamant that enhancing the projectile is better. Namely with explosive tips. Boomsticks. Why not both? That could work. There's one small snag. I need the parts to make the first working model. <laughs> well, for starters, I'll need charger horns. Intact. Yeah, that. Just be sure to shoot them off before the machine goes down. Otherwise, they break. But the real innovation, and keep it to yourself, is a fang horn rib. There's a mean one east of here. Blow it sky high. Boomer! You get them for me. It's yours, my treat. You have a deal. Penguin. All right, I'm gonna go get a boomstick. That's what it sounds like you're getting. I could get around faster if I find a charger to override. More, huh? Another round here? Heard you've been busy. <sighs> As for me, I'm gonna need a few more of these before I get back to the forge. Is there something on your mind? Well, things aren't as bad since you got this place running again. But we still got Olven grading the gears about his concession decree. If you don't put that down, I'll come over there and show you how that game ends. Anyway. Right now, I'm just worried about those refugees out from Sunfall. To come all this way, enduring Forge knows what. Yeah, I saw. They won't let anyone up the old trailhead southwest of here. And therein lies the problem. A stormbird crashed up on the cliffs last week, and Tallinn Cleanbrokers had his eye on the salvage ever since. But the refugees have barred entrance. Mustn't interrupt their sun-scorched ritual. Something about finding a twilight path. Huh. I've never heard them talk about that before. Yeah, well, these particular Shadow Karja are an odd bunch. But overall, they're peaceful folk. Not that it matters to Tolland. He'll crack some heads to get to that salvage. Maybe you could swing by, convince him to set up camp somewhere else? What else can you tell me about the Shadow Karja refugees? Well, they don't call themselves Shadow Karja for one. At least, not anymore. They're some other brand of sun crazed. But whatever side of the sun they're on, they're peaceful through and through. Don't seem to want for nothing except a place to live, pray, and just enough food to keep from starving. So they're just camped outside by a trail, blocking entry to a wrecked stormbird, waiting for what exactly? Don't rightly know, but I'll tell you this. Should they ever wise up and salvage it, a stormbird heart is worth a lot. And if they get there first, then by Ostrom Law, it's theirs. Not that Tolan Cleanbroker has ever lost sleep over any law-breaking. 
Who is this Tolland clean broker? Just some chuff huffing pawnsman. Got a shop here in town. Lived in chain scrape since there was a chain scrape. He and Alvin go back a ways. Like a pair of coals and a campfire, those two. So Tolland works for Alvin? Ha! <laughs> Alvin might think so. But Tolland scrapes up his own scams. And he ain't the type to let a few refugees get between him and Stormbird salvage. So the Bristlebacks and the Daunt. <sighs> You're a pig. Blasted things, those Bristlebacks. They just showed up one day, rampaging around the valley like they exploded out of a forge. <sighs> Lost some good people. But bless the bellows, you cleared them out and got this place working again. That put a dent in Olvin's plans. Now, if only there were some way to smash them all together and run them out of town. But how could Bristlebacks and the Daunt help Olvin? Two words. Concession decree. Since no one knows where the Bristlebacks came from, Olvin has taken to blaming the Karja for him. He's hoping to dig up enough old resentments to get a strike going until the concession's signed. This is just his latest attempt. He's been trying to rile up the workers since the day he rolled into town. About that. I think the Bristlebacks came out of Olvin's old mine. <gasps> now there's a spark that could light a fire. Can you prove it? I'm working on it. By the forge. Grab my ear if you nail it down. Well, from up that way, I'll talk to the refugees. Try to convince them to move. Much appreciated. They have it rough. Don't need Tallinn making it rougher. Yeah. We only need one old thing. Tallinn has a shop here in Chainscrape. I could have a word with him first. Yeah, you! Machine hunter that bailed out the Karja. Never heard it put that way before. What do you want? Heard you've been hassling refugees up by the cliffs. Yeah, well, you heard wrong. There's salvage up there. A stormbird. Nailed it myself with the harpoon here in town. Not an easy shot if I do say so myself. It clipped its wing. And it crashed into the old tower up there. Killed it quick. So if anyone's hassling anyone, it's the Shadow Karja filth that's blocking the way up to my claim. And you're ready to crack some skulls to get to it? No need. It's a raggedy bunch. Probably all starved before I have to lift a finger. We'll see about that. Oh yeah, we will, won't we? Now shop's closed to Karja lovers. On your blasted way. God, I, yeah, I already hate him. Good to know. Uh, <laughs> ah, crap. 30 minutes. Hey, guys. Stay tuned for the next episode.